morning everybody my name is sandra welcome back to my channel today is a very special video because this is my franklin covey classic setup for 2023 and um, when i say 2023 you guys know if you've been around <laughs> i change my binders up every single month i get bored really really quickly but um, i think i have finally discovered or figured out how i want my binder to kind of B. So the, basically the insides, right? Um, very rarely do I change around my dividers and like um, tabs and like figure out my system. So I finally think I, I ironed out what's going to make me happy. I am going to stay with my classic. I'm only going to have one binder. Hopefully everything fits. I'm going to try to downsize as much as I can. And uh, what we're going to do today is going to be the setup. So we're going, I'm going to show you how I, my thought process of putting my binder together um, the tabs I'm going to be using, but I'm going to also do a separate uh, flip through, I guess, a tour video of my binder, explaining where I got everything from, explaining my sections, um, kind of more of the explanation. I feel like this video is already going to take up quite a bit of time, and I think it would be good to split those into two. So the first thing I want to show you is I am using this um, Canyon Leather Binder. This is, I think it's called Periwinkle. Um, I did get this in my recent haul. I will link that haul video for you from Franklin Covey. And um, yeah, it's real leather. It does not smell like leather. It smells like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it is a snap binder. It's pretty minimal, but it does have rounded corners. The back also is minimal. And I already have a whole bunch of stuff in here. So you can see this it's not set up yet. Um, I just stuffed everything I wanted to use for this year in here. And I am pretty sure, except for the dividers, most of this stuff is what I'll be using. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to pull some stuff out because it is already jam-packed, you guys. I have so much in my binder <laughs> that it's crazy. So the other thing I did is I went ahead and in my red binder, my red waist binder for Christmas, my December setup, I'm using my frosted dividers from uh, Dividers R Us. Now, these dividers are also from Dividers R Us, but I plan on using the frosted ones for this year as well. I have one set of side, which you get six tabs, and one set of top, which you get four tabs. And I'm currently waiting on a second set. They have not been delivered. I was hoping it would be before this video. And I am filming this video on the 22nd of December. And ordinarily, I would not be filming it so early. I like to film it like the day before. But because I'm going to be having a baby, I'm going to be induced on the 30th potentially. And we have um, pretty much from Christmas on, we're busy. So Christmas, we're gone. Boxing Day on the 27th, we're gone. The 28th, I have an appointment. I can't remember what we're doing on the 29th, but I know that this video is already supposed to be posted. So um, I just don't have time to wait for that video in case something happens. I could go into labor early. I don't know. So we're doing it today and it'll give me time to edit the video as well. And um, in the meantime, because my dividers never came, I'm going to revert back to the the um, the glass ones, like the, the clear ones. So they're not frosted. And unfortunately, they're quite marked up because I used them quite a bit. I was thinking of washing them off with alcohol, but it's kind of a lot of work. I've got a lot of dividers. I did wash the tabs off because they were full of glue for my labels. So I did that last night. So they're all ready to go. I have two sets of side tabs and two sets of top tabs, except one of the sets I'm using as a bottom set. You'll see why shortly. And then the other thing I did was I make my own planner labels. So I'm probably... I don't know if I'll trim these or not. These are printed on my matte clear sticker paper. So um, I like these because if you use clear or frosted dividers, they're really, really nice. So they don't show up as anything other than like the word. And so it's really perfect. They look really good on the frosted dividers. And I've customized what I need. And um, you guys will see that I've changed a lot of my labels. And... I have to find my little note <laughs> from my previous binder because I do have all of the ideas from my setup that I was thinking about. I have them in here, but I also have them on this little sticky note. So I've done lots of like journaling and writing down of ideas and trying to figure out what would work best for me. So I think I finally have it. So what we're going to do is go through. I'll label these as I go, I think, because I just... 
I don't know exactly how it's going to look. I'm going to take everything out of the binder. And yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, unless there's like a, a huge pile of things I have to do at one time, I'll just kind of talk you guys through as I go. Okay. And the reason why I can get away with setting this up now is a lot of the the inserts I'm using, they're going to be brand new. So I don't have to really go back to my old binder. There's a few papers I need to carry over. So I will be going in here. For instance, I need my overview. I will be bringing this over. So I'll just bring that right now because I don't really need it in here anyway. And um, yeah, I think I think that's pretty much it other than a few of my routine tabs and maybe we'll decorate it after because obviously these dividers, I won't be keeping the clear ones in my new binder. So we're going to have to switch that out when they come in, but that is okay. All right. So what we start with here is I borrowed these clear page um, lifters, for one of my new binders. So I, I have the, um, the only binders that these clear page lifters tend to come in are the Teresa Collins Beautiful Life Binders and the Olivia Binders from last summer. So I will be borrowing these from the Teresa Collins and we'll put one in the front and one in the back. So there we go. And that is going to prevent any of my pages from like breaking. So I might have to borrow like um, a white background for a couple of these. So I do have various inserts I wanted to use and I don't know which one to use. So um, again, I won't talk about where any of these come from. I will have a separate video. So please stay tuned for that. But I think for right now, I'm going to stick with this one, even though it's pink and it's floral. I got this one made specifically. It says this planner belongs to Sandra. So I'll put that at the front and then I'm going to put my overview. Okay. And then we're going to refer to my tab. So now the top tabs, <laughs> this, this is going to get um, interesting. So I don't know if I want the top tabs to come first or the, the side tabs. Let's see. Do I want brain dump first or do I want goals? I think we'll do goals first and that will be a side tab. So we'll go into goals and yeah, I do have two of these printed. So like I print these, like they're, Roughly, like, how big are they? I can print two on a page. So, and then when I cut them down, it's usually about four and something. And then, like, seven and something. So, that's how big the sheets are. So, we need goals. So, yeah, I do have another one of these for my, my new uh, dividers when they come. Okay, so the first one is goals. So then what we're going to do is go into my pile of inserts I'll be using. Um, these are all of the separate decorative elements I'll be using. I love these. Oh my gosh. I'm so in love with my planner stuff already and I haven't even set it up, you guys. So there's quite a bit that um, I might not be able to include in here. So if you guys haven't checked out or my prep videos for all of this, I would advise to go do that because I have quite a few prep videos actually. I might not be able to carry through all of this. So I did all of this. This is like my roles and goals and stuff. And it might just be too much for the planner. I might not have room. So anything that I don't have room for, I'm gonna have to put aside. So I'll carry this one through. This one will be for later, put those in the back. because I know that I'm not going to have enough room. Once I add these dividers, it's going to get really, really full. So these are habits. So I think I'll put the habits under routines. my roles and my values. Okay. 
And then we'll put this Teresa Collins one back there just in case. All right, so that's everything for goals. And then I'm just gonna check these things off as we go. There is my pen. Okay, so we've got goals done. And then I think what we'll do is brain dump, maybe. Um, and brain dump is a top tab. So I do have brainstorm on here and I have brain dump and I'll show you what, what the difference between those after. Okay, so I've got brain dump. Go back into my inserts because I know it's in here somewhere. don't know if I need this much. I think what we're going to have to do is just put one for now because I just don't know if I'll have room for this many. I also have my inbox there. Okay. And then next we have schedule which is going to be a side tab okay and here I think we'll put this rainbow um, overview. Now I do have this yearly fold out, but it's quite thick, so I don't know if I'll have room for it. So I'm just gonna, um, I'll, I'll put it in for now, but if I don't have room, we'll take it out. Um, I've got the holidays and observances. I also have two future logs. So this one was from the Flora inserts from 2022. I love the Flora pattern on this one and it matches this binder really nice. But I also have the Teresa Collins, which I like. So I think I'll put this one on this section and maybe I'll use the other one for uh, my business if I have room. Okay, so that is for future. Let's see, so future and month so i purposely did not um have a section for a week because what i'm going to do this time is put my like my youtube stats are going to go in my business section instead of my like right behind my month like i have for 2022 so i'm going to put my week right behind my month this time so my future log will go in front of the month on the top tab so schedule we can cross off because we did that one and then the top tab will be month so let's do a top tab now. And then we have my seven habits inserts. So I'm excited for this because I really like that. Um, this is my month at a glance. I'm probably gonna fill this out today. And that's like, I won't stay in my planner. That's just to prepare for the month. Like when I go to do my month. Um, I also have this in here. So I don't know if I'm gonna need this. This is usually what I do for my stats. Hmm. This is the Teresa Collins, but I'll, I'll leave it in here for now and then I can decide what to do with it during the month. See, I like this because this gives me more room. I really like, oops, I like this calendar because it's got like the line so it's easy to write down appointments and stuff. And I might have a few in January, but this one, I like the back of this because it gives you, see what I could do. This is what I have done in the past. It's just so you're aware uh, what I'll do. This is actually probably what I'll do. I'm gonna glue that together because if i have this i don't necessarily need this i do like this page though that is one thing i like so i don't know now i'm confused okay unless i leave that because this could still be my index and then i could just that's what i'll do how about what we do is glue that together let's do that because i don't need this calendar um this month because I have a different schedule um, planner for my business section. So we're going to use my Tombow glue tape. 
I know this kind of seems sacrilegious. I'm sorry for anyone who was bothered by this, but I'm doing it. Um, and this is what I do. Like I tend to buy inserts, um, different inserts so I can really customize my binder. I can customize my inserts with uh, different binders that I really enjoy, like the colors and stuff. So January is going to be completely different than February. And you guys will see that when I do the setup, but I'm, I'm excited for that one too. I just need to figure out how to put this together without it sticking too soon. Okay, there we go. So now I have the ability to use the front, which I really like this for, um, for the month. I like filling this part out. And then I have this so I can add all of my, my uh, tasks. And I don't know, I don't think that will be work business. I don't know, maybe. Maybe just so I can have like an idea of what I need to do that month. We'll see. So I'm going to, for now, I'm going to put the entire week in here. I don't need to. Um, that kind of takes up a little bit of our real estate in my planner, but we'll see. So that's the week, because remember, I'm not going to have a separate tab for a week in here, but I will put this so I know where the daily start. Or actually, I don't even need to do that because I have um, a tab for that. So maybe what I should do is put this where the week starts. That makes more sense. Okay, so here we go. So that's the beginning of the week. So I'll put this here, even though I might, like again, real estate space, right? So I might take that out. We'll see. Um, and if I do want to show a spot for that, I will put like a post-it tab. I want to stay away from using post-it, so because it just makes my planner look a little congested and like busy and like not very pretty. So I want to like keep it, keep it like that. All right. So now for daily. So. And we took care of the month, um, and the next part would be day. So I will use another top tab. And find dailies. So as before, um, I will have my business section in here. I do have a weekly section for my business section. So I like know all of the tasks I need to do every week. I'm going to continue writing out all of the tasks I need to do on my dailies. So you guys will see that as well. And again, um, I'm putting the whole month of dailies in here for now, but if I need to, I will be removing at least two weeks worth because again, I might run out of space. So if that's the case, we might remove some of the weeks, we might remove some of the days um, just to save on real estate here. So the next section we're going to put, I don't know if I want business next or if I want home next. Hmm. I think I'll do business because um, business is such a high priority ticket item in my life. So we'll do business because I will be using that every single day. Now I have one that actually says business and then I have one that just says biz. So I don't know which one I want to use. I like both of them. I'll put business for now and then see how I like it. And if I do, I'll stick with it on the next one when I do the other, when I put the other dividers in. So there's my business section. Now I have this, this is kind of like an overview board too. It was from cloth and paper. It's a storyboard, but I was going to use it for like my video prompt ideas. Again, real estate. I don't know if I'll have enough room in there, but we'll leave it in there for now. So here's the, the issue is that I have all of my inserts for my business, um, but we'll be using a whole new set of side tabs for this. So um, let's see here. I'll put my Instagram thing there, I think. Schedule is going to come first. So this is going to mess me up, I think, because if I put, I'll just show you what I'm thinking here. So, so far I've got two side tabs, right? I've got my goals and my schedule. Then the next, if I was to continue on, cause I've got six for home, like personal and six for business, 
maybe I should leave business at the back because if I leave business at the front, if I leave it right after schedule, I'm going to have two side tabs and then I'm going to start again from the top. It'll be like this section inside the section. I don't really think it matters so much. Um, but it's kind of like an OCD thing. Like I'd like to have like, you know, your six tabs going down nicely and then another six tabs going down. Hmm. What do I want to do? So maybe I should continue putting all of my home stuff first. Maybe we'll do that and then I can live with it and then I can always change it when I get the new dividers. How about that? That's a good idea. Okay. So let's do home. So that'll be another side tab. Yeah, it's like this OCD thing. I don't know. It's going to drive me crazy. Okay, so we've got home. And um, I have a whole bunch of inserts for home. I just don't know exactly what I want to put in there. I think I'm going to be bringing some stuff over for my other binder. So we'll do that after. The next one would be personal, which includes health this time. Okay, so personal. And then we have routines, which will include like routines, trackers, day themes, all that stuff. So routines. And then we can get to the business section and then we'll come back and, and add all the stuff to these. Okay, and then the last one is projects and notes. So that's where this one comes in. That would be the last bottom side tab for the first section. Okay, and then we can go ahead and put in business. So these ones are all done here. So we've got home, personal, projects, um, routines, projects, and notes. And I will add the top tab for business, which is the last top tab. So that makes sense. And then the first one is a uh, schedule here. And then I'm going to like, if we have room, we're going to fit in some dashboards and stuff in between. So schedule. And now I have um, my business overview and then I have my schedule. So this is from Fancy Plants Co. And it includes the whole month of January. Okay. And then we have stats. Okay, and that's going to be my business overview. Um, I'm going to put, I don't know if I'll put this under schedule. Maybe I should go back and put that under schedule. I'll leave that to the side for now. I've got social stats tracker. What we're going to do here is go in to website analytics, blog analytics. Um, these will be my stat pages here. And then the next one is income. If I had like a calendar to go in front of this, this is where I would put the calendar um, where I track my daily income as well. Like my daily, um, I usually track my stats on a separate page and then income together on that page, like on the monthly calendar view. But I think I might put that like this, the, <clears throat> the amount of money on here. We'll see how it goes. Those stats, I could put um, a yearly calendar. I do have a couple of yearly calendars. I've got one from the um, Seasons insert I could put in there. And then I also have uh, another Blooms one I could put in there too. So we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, the next section is um, <clears throat> Brainstorm. So it would be for all my ideas. And that's usually where I put like my list of blog ideas and like my list of sticker ideas, that kind of thing. Okay, and then the next one is blog. And before I put that in, I know I have an insert here for blog creator post, and I'll just I'll put that under brainstorm. And then we'll put blog. 
Or maybe I should put it under blog. I don't know. I can switch it again if I don't like it there. And then the last one is notes. All right. And we'll carry some of that stuff over from my previous planner. So there we go, you guys. See? And now it flows really nicely. I've got six tabs on the side right after the other that I've got on my business section. I like that a lot. Okay. So I've got four tabs on the top plus my overview. And now I forgot the ones on the bottom. So we'll go back and put them in where they need to be. So reading will fall under personal, I believe. Uh, I'm just wondering why I didn't put these in order. So I've got um, reading, school, meals, and I put like chores, and then finances slash sinking funds. So under home will be school, meals, chores, and finances. So we'll do that one first. And the personal will be reading. So we've got home. So far, there's nothing under home. And these are simply top tabs turned upside down, just in case you guys are wondering. Okay, so meals and chores. Um, I might have something for that right now. Um, that's also going to be like my shopping list. <clears throat> so these are all of my listers going to list from Fancy Plants Co. I do have some more coming in. The health and fitness tracker. I'll set those aside till I figure out where I want them. Meal plan. I had a whole bunch and I don't know if I need that many. Okay. Purchase tracker is personal. Password log is personal. Um, I've got habits and routines here. And then I've got my weekly cleaning schedule. So I'll put that in there. This is for my book stuff. Projects and notes. Okay. So this is books. Um, what else do we need? So next we need um, school and finances. So let's put finances next. So I've got two different tabs for this. Um, I keep my sinking funds in here so I could do sinking funds or I could just put finance, but I think we'll do sinking funds. I can change it as I need. And now sinking funds, I have a whole bunch of inserts for that as well. Just got to find them. So I don't know if I want to keep my expense envelope at the front or the back, or if I even want to include them. Um, let's leave them aside for now, because I just, I think I'm running out of room. Sinking funds will go here. Okay, and then we have school. And that's going to be for all of my son's stuff that I want to track. And then the last one is um, reading. And then we're going to put the reading inserts under there. And this is from Cloth and Paper. Okay, guys. Wow, this is already crazy. So that's pretty full already. So what I might do is go to the weeks and pull out i think i'll leave two weeks in there for now i'll pull out the other ones because i'm just not going to have enough room i'll keep these separate i'll go to the dailies and keep up to like i don't know friday the 13th oh wow okay let's pull out saturday the 14th on i'll keep all of these separate and i'll put them in a place where i can like access them easily after that leaves me with a little bit more room um, I probably won't have room for this folder. I wanted to put this in here in case I wanted extra room for stuff, but I'll leave it because I'm not going to have room. So expense envelopes are coming out. That's coming out. Everything that I'm not going to use, I'll put aside. So these are purchase trackers. This stuff goes under personal. Oh, reading needs to go under personal. So I'm just going to pull that out. I realized I put that under the wrong tab. 
So that one will go under personal instead. Okay. Um, it's reading. Personal is going to be purchase tracker and password log as well. Um, this is routine stuff, so we'll put that under routines. And then we can also run down to notes and projects. So this stuff will all be projects. So I've got some note paper. This is again from the seven habits. Um, some Teresa Collins project planning sheets, and then also some project planning stuff from cloth and paper. So all of that can go together. And we'll head over to routines. And then there'll be some stuff I have to pull over from my other binder too, but we'll put this stuff in there first. So I've got some of these water trackers and health trackers. I've got my weekly fold-out calendar my routines and my daily habit stuff all right oh yeah there was one other one i meant to put in here and i don't know what happened to it right here habitual okay there all right good we're not doing too bad um i do have this as my future log i could put that as my business but i don't know if i need this so i'll put this aside again um, real estate in my planner is scarce. Okay, so I think this is pretty much good. I've figured out the order I want stuff in. So we'll talk about that again when we uh, talk about everything. Um, when we do like the tour, the grand tour of my binder. Now, I do have all of these dashboards to decorate with. But what we're going to do is pull out the stuff I need from my previous binder kind of go through here I don't need anything from goals this is all old stuff schedule pretty sure it's all old stuff weekly yep daily stuff I don't need pretty sure I'm just gonna start fresh like from all of my brain dumps and stuff like all my inbox I don't need any old stuff um, notes. This is for my diaper packing stuff, but that's gonna, again, I don't need that. So routines. I will be pulling this over, but I wonder if I should keep this in here for now because I'm still going to be doing planning in this binder for the week, for the last week. So I'll leave that in here for now, but we'll switch that out once, um, once I'm done. Um, I've already pretty much written out all of these routines already, so I don't think I'll keep, carry that. Maybe... I like this one because it's pretty. I do need to change this though. Um, actually, it's pretty much the same. Let's see. Okay, I'll keep this one. I do know I have to pull over some stuff from my business stuff though. So it's my business overview analytics purchase stuff. I've got my notes. I'll pull this one over. I've got my blog schedule, which I'm going to need. I'll probably end up writing it out because, well, I, I don't even know if I need to rewrite it. I like having like the information from the previous posts in there. Um... Those can probably go. I don't need those. I'll leave those in here for now. Blog post creator. These are new ones. They don't need to be in here. And blog idea. So this one will go under brainstorm. There we go. Home. I've got my list. Oh yeah, I'll be bringing these items over for now, I guess. Um, cleaning schedule, I don't even have anything in there. <laughs> this is unused. That can stay in here. Never use that one. I do like these, so I'm going to keep this for now, even though it's technically 2022. I think it's cute. 
So I'll keep all of this stuff for now, and then we can decide later. Or honestly, let's see. I can probably just take it all out now. I haven't been using this, to be honest. I'll keep that one, that one. That one can go. We're seeing here, I guess. Um, under health, I had, for some reason, I had, like, food stuff. I don't really need that, though. Meal plan ideas. Freezer inventory is kind of outdated already. I kind of like these for reading, so I'm going to pull those off and put them under my reading section. Personal. Um, oh yeah, this is my book list, so I want to keep this with me. Probably bring all this stuff over. I might have to rewrite some of this stuff, but I do want to bring it over. Um, notes, I'll leave that in here for now in case I need more note paper for the rest of the week. Projects. Um... I can deal with all of that stuff later on. This might be going to cleaning, so I'm just going to move this one. Okay, I think that's all I need to pull over from this binder right now. Um, and then under here, these are stickers I'll continue to keep. I might move this over because I can use that. That's my commonplace book. So yeah, so everything else can stay in here for now. And now let's put this stuff back in my new binder now. Okay guys, so everything that's in here that I need is in here. And now it's time for some dashboards. And I'm kind of running out of room. Like my binder is pretty pretty big and I expected that. Like I knew that it was gonna be um, incredibly full. So like already it's at the point where my other binder is. The one thing I like about this is that um, it already has like 1.5 inch rings, but this strap is so big that you could almost put like, I don't know about the binder itself. You probably couldn't put two inch rings in here. I don't want to destroy the binder, but um, this strap is like really, like there's a lot of room here. Like that's how much room you have left over, basically. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of decorate. And I want to decorate the front too. So I like that. That's good. Um, but now we want to add something in front of each of the tabs. Maybe not every single tab, because if I do that, I might run out of room. I don't need this one. This is something I printed out. This one I absolutely love. I'm going to put that under personal because um, to me, like, that's who I am, right? So I'm going to put that under personal for sure. Um, I don't think I like this. This is just like, I guess, a quote page. And that's my implementation ledger. I don't want that. I don't even need that right now. Um, I also really like this one. That's kind of nice. I like that one for business. So maybe I'll put that under business.
just enough to keep it interesting. I don't think I need one under every single tab because if I do that again, um, the, the prettiness factor, it is nice, but it's not like the end all for me. Like what I have in here is a little bit more important for my, for my functional purposes, right? So, um, this one, whoops, yeah, I already don't have room. I'm going to put this under goals. This says a goal is a dream with a deadline. This matches my planner, but I don't really know what I want to put on there, if anything. Um, I also have implementation. I like that one. And then I have this one, which is a cloth and paper one. And then I was going to use these because they were like black and white with flowers. But I don't know if I like that right now. I've changed my mind, you guys. So what's important here? Schedule is important, but I really like that. So I don't really want to change that. That's just like, that's really nice. Just the way that is. Um, home, maybe something could go there. Let's see. Maybe implementation. Personal, I have that one. Routines, I like that too. That's just nice the way it is. Personal notes, I don't know if I need anything there. Maybe. Um, business I have that one and again I don't know if I need something in front of every single tab because again these dashboards actually are quite thick right so when you go to put your planner together if your planner is already really um, really big you have to be careful what you're putting in there that is a very big binder you guys I kind of like this as the front, so I don't even need anything there. Uh, maybe under dailies. I kind of like girl boss. That one's pretty. <laughs> okay. Under home. Maybe this one. And then this one. I also like this as well. Some cloth and paper. I just don't know what I would put it under. Maybe here to kind of hide any of the, um, the expense stuff. Okay. So you guys, that part's done. I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to have to get going soon because I have to get my son up for school, but put those back there. Those are some of my weekly compass cards. I will have to pull uh, my compass card when I'm ready to start planning in this binder. And I just need to see what I've got here. I've got so many things. I really like this card. That's so pretty. I will have my word of the year. I just haven't pulled it out yet. And I'll get some business cards to fill this up. And the other thing that I like to do is to put some of these little cards like on random um, you know, dividers and stuff just to like paper clip them in. But again, look at the space. We're at space capacity. So we'll see. Uh, maybe as I go through every month, I can add something new or different. I knew this was going to happen to me. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I can't fit any more in this binder and I have to get going. So I hope you enjoyed how I like my kind of process of how I put everything together. I will have a video coming later. Um, it's literally the day after this and we're going to walk through and I'll explain all the sections, all of the inserts that I have in here and then we'll go from there. But yeah, there's a lot of information in here. So a lot of information. The binder barely closes. The strap is big enough. It's just there's so much in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I 
really appreciate you hanging out with me today and checking it out. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Click on the bell button to receive notifications when I upload new videos, and I will see you guys in the tour of my binder. Take care, friends. Bye now.